I'm going to describe here the development of the behavior change <clears throat> technique taxonomy. To remind you, here are the 93 items and they're in 16 different groupings. And the original publication um, has the link here. The aim of this work was to develop a taxonomy of behavior change techniques that was extensive, clearly labeled, well-defined, distinct, and usable. Uh, also to achieve an international and interdisciplinary consensus and to provide a hierarchical structure for it. Secondly, to assess the reliability and validity of coding interventions using the taxonomy. So the first phase involved generating a long, long list of behavior change techniques, um, drawing it from uh, six published taxonomies that myself and other colleagues had published. Um, we took, had 14 experts that in two rounds in a Delphi consensus exercise, rated the labels and the definitions for their content, their overlap and their redundancies, aiming to be as clear, precise, distinct and usable as possible. And where there were discrepancies between experts, there was discussion and further refinement. We then, uh, on the next version, got feedback from our International Advisory Board of uh, 16 distinguished scholars, further refined the labels and definitions, and then um, did pilot coding, user testing with another 13 experts. We then investigated the hierarchical structure um, with 19 experts. This included a grouping exercise of the, the whole BCT list in an online open source task uh, with a cluster analysis and bootstrap methods uh, to analyze it. So all in all, we had 52 experts working on this. Um, the average number of groups were 15, but the uh, best solution was a 16 cluster solution where we had strong support for the seven clusters and good support for further five of the 16 clusters. And in bold here, you will see the seven clusters for which we had strong support uh, for their grouping. Here are examples of groupings. We have um, repetition and substitution as one group, uh, reward and threat as another, scheduled consequences as another. And you can have a look at um, the different items within those. For testing the reliability, we had independent coding of 65 intervention descriptions by behavior change techniques. We had six experts in pairs uh, working uh, with 40 intervention descriptions sampled across three journals uh, to get a very good uh, range of types of excerpt covering preventative behaviors, illness management behaviors, and health professional behaviors. And we used a Justice Kappa for the reliability assessment, taking 0.60 as minimum for a reliable BCT. So of the 26 techniques where uh, we observed them five or more times in the excerpts, um, we could use Kappa and found that 23 out of 26 um, had scores of 0.60 or above. And here uh, from the most reliable, um, down to the least reliable, uh, we, we have the 26 behavior change techniques, so you can see which those are. And for validity, um, we looked at agreement between uh, 40 trained coders, which we worked in 20 pairs, um, between them and between expert consensus, uh, which was the research team, about the presence of behavior change techniques in force intervention descriptions. So of the 15 that were identified at least five times, um, we looked at the kappa and um, had a mean uh, of those of 0.77. So uh, a good agreement between the train coders and the experts. And this was stable over one month period. If you'd like to uh, look at more uh, details of the methods used in this whole development process. Um, I commend this uh, very, very long full report of our work in health technology assessment. Um, there's also 
reference to all the individual papers that came out through the programme, including um, the one of the um, grouping methods we used. Um, and finally, if you would like easy access to these behaviour change techniques, uh, we have a smartphone app um, on both the iPhone and the Android platforms. You just uh, search for BCTs and you'll find the app. And then you can easily search by label, uh, by grouping or alphabetical. Um, and we also have a new facility now that it links to broader intervention types, which is part of another framework uh, called the behaviour change wheel. And uh, finally, we have um, that was developed as part of this programme of research in order to train our um, coders in how to do this uh, and on a free online uh, training. Um, and we also have a, a corpus of several hundred um, published intervention papers, uh, which have been coded painstakingly by researchers um, and is available as a resource um, if it can be of any interest or help to you. Thank you.